Got an easy one for you this week. What was your very first car? And more importantly, how long did you have it? Comment below and Tenille Arts will share her first car experience this week in the Country Music Update. I'm Greg Reynolds. First we say, Blake Shelton, you're a liar. Well, I guess maybe more of a flip-flopper, not a liar, but you remember a couple of years ago when he said, oh, I am done making albums, singles only from this point forward, because who needs a full album? Well, guess what? Body Language, his new album is coming out May 21st, but I guess we've all flip-flopped before. You said, I'm never going to do this. You ended up doing it. I'm never going to get back together with that person. Well, now you're married to them again. So it does happen. It's just hilarious to me that he was so public and so vocal about never making albums. And yet, here we are getting another Blake album. I'm not complaining. I just think it's hilarious. We say congratulations to Mickey Guyton and Dean Brody on their number one here in Canada. It's called Boys, and it's Mickey's first ever number one. And she told me a few months back about not only writing and recording music during the pandemic, but also, like you and me, she's been trying her hand at baking. So, What's your go-to thing? I make really great chocolate chip cookies and apple crisp. I make really good apple crisp and lemon bars. I'm really good at lemon bars now. Like, yeah. I've just been baking a lot. If you get six or seven minutes free this weekend, check out my full interview on this YouTube page with Mickey Guyton. I promise you, you're going to fall even more in love with her. She's fantastic. She talks about the inspiration behind her songs, Black Like Me, and what are you going to tell her for people like my daughter? It's incredible. I also got to catch up with Dean Brody about a song that might be his next single, trying again to go number one, a follow-up to Boys. It's called I'd Go to Jail. I wrote a song about um, being a dad and uh, basically saying, you know, I have, I have peaceful hands. I, and I'm not looking for trouble, but if you hurt my daughter, I'll go to jail over her kind of thing, right? And so just wrote it for fun and people are just loving it. And they're responding to it and it's resonating with them. So we might, uh, we might, might go with that one next. And finally, what was your very first car and how long did you have it? My 91 Buick Century was about six months in my possession before it blew up on a highway. Tennille Arts still has hers and it took her all the way from Saskatchewan to Nashville. We're talking about how long you had your very first car for. What was the car and how long do you remember having it? So funny that you asked me that because I literally just got rid of my first car. Like, no way. Like, yeah, I drove it down to Nashville. So I've had it this entire time. Um, I've had it since I was 15. It's a yellow G5 Pontiac. <laughs> first car. Did you ever at any point have the lay in the window? The Hawaiian uh, lay in the window? I did not, but I still have my like graduation tassel hanging in the on the rear view mirror so it's i don't know what i'm gonna do with it now like it's probably not like that car's not worth anything i don't even know what i'm gonna do with it but um uh, maybe park it somewhere and just have it to to look at i don't know <laughs> was it breaking down on you or you just decided i've had it for i don't even want to guess how many years is it over 10 years that you would have had that yeah it would be i'm 26 now i got it when i was 15 16 so so was it breaking down or you just decided it's probably time to get rid of the yellow the yellow bee over here uh well i wanted to get rid of it i wanted to have a big girl car <laughs> um but <laughs> it was starting to like do some like if anybody drove it i had to be like okay well the unlock button doesn't work on that side you have to use the key to get into the driver's side you have to uh the window doesn't roll down on this like i would have to like tell them all of these things that you can't do um, and like the, the car, uh, the door on the passenger side will like cut you. So it's all duct taped and like, yeah. <laughs> you have like, it's not an owner's manual. It's a passenger's manual. Like here's the do's and don'ts of getting into Tennille Arts's car, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it, it was time. And she also told me about her brand new single, fantastic song. We all want this at the end of a relationship. It's called give it to me straight. Yeah. I think anybody who's gone through a breakup or like, you know, you're going to end up breaking up with this person. Um, you know, if they're breaking up with you and they're not really giving you a good, a good reason for breaking up with you. It's like you walk away from that conversation with more questions. You have no closure. It's just kind of like, you know, it makes it harder in the long run. And I think as much as it hurts to have somebody tell you the reason that you're breaking up, I think it's better to know in the moment 
why did we break up? And that's exactly what this song is talking about. It's like, don't sugarcoat it. Just tell me, you know, because then I can move on and, and feel better about it. So that, that's what this song is about. Well, you and I both Bachelor fans, we see this all the time on that show. And you're just like, just tell them the real reason why you're why you're not bringing them to the fantasy suites already. I know, right? That's actually a great <laughs> example of this because it's like there were so many people on that season that they left and they were like, I don't even know what happened. Like, you know, so it's totally that thing. You just want, you know, if you weren't feeling it for a specific reason, just say that and then they can move on. For more of your country music superstars, what they have to say, what's coming for you from them, subscribe to this YouTube channel. This is Barn 49. I'm Greg Reynolds with another country music update. <laughs>